how to get the best price possibly for hotels in the Philippines. The fact is on the internet they're very likely to give you about 10% discount if you're staying over two weeks. It all depends how busy they are because the prices fluctuate with for example um, Sinalog in Cebu where everything's booked out solid for that, for that um, festival. The other side of this being is when you book in for example, when we went to Negros Island, we only needed the hotel for one day, but it was only for a certain period of time as well. So what we did, instead of going in there looking for the hotel room when we got, got to Domaghetti, what we did is we went out for a meal, we went for a walk around the coast, etc, etc. And then we headed down to the hotel about half past 11 at night. Now why would they leave it so late the fact is we're going for an early morning ferry which if I say early morning I think about 10 o'clock <laughs> the the fact is the hotel only needs to give us a room for 10 hours max so as such we negotiate the rent uh, the the rooms down to half the price because say look we're not even using them for half half a day we you know we're only here overnight it's up to you because we'll go and ask the next hotel along what happened they took the money now they're either going to put that on the books or if they haven't got a good accounting system you were never there uh, which is isn't my problem It's bad cash control in the hotel but at the same time I did what uh, was available and to be honest the hotel would rather take money than have empty rooms although I've been the one that actually wanted to charge three hundred dollars to use a beach hut uh, because you had to rent a room <laughs> you had to rent a room to use the beach and the minimum room was three hundred dollars a room which was amusing because when we got to the the resort the weather had been fine till we got there and it just hammered down with rain but there was also about 14 members of the staff and not one customer <laughs> so you'd have thought well we'll take the money but there's no way I was paying $300 for a uh, what do you call it a um, beach hut because of not actually going to use the bedroom they would actually have been better off giving us the bar tab and we'd have probably drank $300 between us but anyway there is always going to be that price fluctuation in the Philippines de depending on uh, who you are as well which is why you'll see a lot of people don't advertise the prices when I mean, you get there and it's on the reception and you can, it's normally written in biro because they've altered it but like I said if it's not busy try and negotiate the Philippines you can barter with things um, there's nothing wrong with bartering it's normal but also if you're only there for a day I'll try go go in there in the evening after eight o'clock, etc., and just say, "Look, I'm just after a room to put my head down for a few hours. What can you do? But do it for." And your nine times out of ten, they'll come back and say, "Okay, um, we'll do it for. We'll knock a third off or a half price or whatever. No harm in trying. Thanks for watching."